passion is that contagious burning fire inside that inspires me and that creates an excitement for others to join a cause with me. We had so much passion and so much energy and this chef from the Omni came in and he said, hey Brian, what are you doing for the Liver Foundation dinner? And I was like, I love competitions. I was like, let's do this. I came out and announced the dishes with this big lion head on. Ladies and gentlemen! And all of a sudden these two beautiful women appear from nowhere. They have these big fire fingers on, right? And we just went whoosh! And the whole room and everyone stood up and cheered and laughed and it was amazing. I got escorted out by security and I'm still not allowed at the Omni Hotel. But uh, Top Chef called up a couple days later and they said, are you the guy that lit the ballroom on fire? And I was like, maybe. And they go, you want to be on season three? Passion is about this culinary subculture that we're building here. Just talking to a lot of other chefs, finding out what they're seeing in their industries, seeing if we can't combine those ideas into one global greater purpose, the GCIA. The GCIA can help me with menu development and innovation. That will spark new ideas in a number of areas. A place where we can bring our own passion and creativity together. My parents don't really come to Woodfire Grill very frequently, my other restaurant. My mom said, you know, your father feels like he would embarrass you. He thinks he's too blue collar for a place like this. It struck me so deeply that I vowed that from that point forward I would never open a restaurant that was exclusive in any way ever again. I named it after his favorite pastime for he and I, which was we would go to this local gun show uh, on Sunday afternoon. The GCI Combine will be very similar to the ICCA Summit where you can learn from chefs including food truck icon and now moved to brick and mortar restaurant success, Roy Choi. I was a 37 year old former executive chef, you know, I, I was in no way and no position to believe that I should be slanging tacos on the street. We were hypnotized by this flavor and every time I looked up the lines got longer, so much longer that we had to open a second truck. As the lines got longer, then the media started coming. This whole culture towards changing the way food was affecting people started to really sink its teeth into everything going on. Many new menu ideas and their personal take on building successful restaurants have come from these talented and successful chefs. So I was very involved in building restaurants, but I had, to, I had to break out. You know, I was 41 years old and I knew I wanted to open a restaurant, so all I know how to do is cook, make people happy. So. You know, I took the leap of faith. Put the house on the line, got a few other partners, and I started Raff Buddies. That was 10 years ago. We're getting ready to celebrate our 10-year anniversary in May. Food tastes better when it's made with love and passion. You have to love what you do, and you have to be eager for the next thing and to push the envelope, and that is what passion is all about. The GCIA will create a culture that's passionate about food in the world and how we're actually creating those food and, and how it's actually being made and sourced. I get paid to eat and drink for a living. And you may know me from doing shows like Iron Chef American. This is a show called The Best Thing I Ever Ate and Extreme Chef, which was this crazy show where they had us flying all over the world, kind of survivor meets Iron Chef. But it all started with this, my first book, this mantra that is now my life, go everywhere, eat everything. And I decided I was gonna do that. And the next day I handed in my notice and I spent the next year traveling the world eating in 31 countries. The power's in the proximity, whether it be in Seattle, through combines, or proximity to people. It's standing on the shoulders of great people that allows true movement and growth. It's probably the only indigenous urban cuisine left in America. Because of that, I feel the need of making sure that we save it before it just becomes another any place USA where you can close your eyes, you open them up and you're in a different city but you're not quite sure which one you're in because they've lost all the flavors and uh, they've lost these local traditions. And we all obviously have a passion around food anyway and the business. I just see this actually getting stronger. When Katrina came and did what Katrina did, Herb Saint was the only restaurant open at the time, but it closed for five weeks. 
It was at that moment that I really realized the true importance of what a restaurant meant. When people are coming in, like almost in tears, that they're actually sitting down eating in the city that they live in, that they thought was gone forever. Doing that restaurant was like this purpose and this meaning. It's like seeing all these people come in, it's like, this is why I do it. I'm not out to rule the world, I'm trying to figure out how to make it a better place.